going on guys? Welcome to today's vlog. It is Monday the 20th of April and this is going to be a really short vlog. Uh, I'm just going to explain a few things really quickly. Over the course of the last 48 hours we've just had um, beds come in. I've just done Vanellope's bed. We've had a t-shirt printer come in which is here. It's like a t-shirt press does everything. It does mugs, caps, hoodies, plates. You name it, it does it. So we're going to be doing a few things with that, obviously, and then there's the other side of it. I'll be doing some work gear for me for when I go to conventions and stuff like that and do some mugs and stuff. There's loads of things going on. I've also just fixed the boys' PS4. Well, I haven't fixed it. I had to take apart a PS4. Bear in mind, I've never, ever took a PS4 apart before in my life. So I had to watch a quick tutorial on it and basically I had to try and work out how to get the power unit out of it because Oscar and Alfie's PS4 is not powering on. The eject button works but there's no power to it so that's a common fault with them. It's just missed the warranty with Sony and they wanted like £120 just to look at it and then fix the part. Well, uh, the part that I found on eBay is brand new. I just had to take it all apart to find the serial number and the model number on the power unit and it's only £29.99 with free delivery. So I'm just going to do it myself. It's just basically you just drop it in. Um, it's got like two prong connectors and then it's just got a cable at the end. Pretty simple and, and that's done. And then on top of that, We've had to rearrange for Chloe's bed to go back because it came weird. It was like it was the whole base at the bottom. It wasn't in sections like Vanellope's was. Uh, so we couldn't get it downstairs. The gap was too narrow. There was no way you could turn it around. So unfortunately, she's got to send that back again. So this is the second bed that's going back. But the good news is she's found one on Amazon and it actually comes in pieces. So I'll be able to get it into a room, build it quickly and then she'll be able to have a bed because at the minute she's sleeping on the mattress on the floor which isn't ideal but she likes it but still it's still not ideal especially when you know we're in this lockdown she's going to be there all the time speaking of the lockdown and and just some other things as well uh, just really quickly um we've we've got a pc coming for the boys which is a gaming pc because they want to play grand theft Auto online um believe it or not one of the guys that I've had the biggest heat with on YouTube, Jamie Reese, actually helped me with the spec. I've also been speaking to Jamie on text messages, and do you know what? I'm actually really embarrassed because the guy's actually really... He's just hes just a nice guy to speak to. Uh, he's completely different from what I perceived him to be on YouTube. Um, and he's just... I mean, for me to message him after everything that's been said and done, and to think that I was going to get a reply um, and then he actually replied to me shows that he's the bigger man at the end of the day and I'm big enough to understand that I you know can, can accept that but the guy messaged me back he's been nothing but gracious I've asked him for tips with the Wi-Fi when it comes to this gaming PC and stuff like that he's he's been on the ball straight away um, and then we've also spoke about the lockdown and stuff which again he's, he's pretty um, keyed up with it and he knows what he's talking about so um, that's one positive that I can look at throughout the day but I mean it's just been it's been crazy I've never built so much stuff we've never had so much stuff come we had new pans and stuff like that. We just haven't had time to vlog. Tomorrow we're going to be back on it properly. We'll be able to vlog a lot more. But the house has been upside down. Sarah's been tearing her hair out because the house is upside down. Um, I've got to take this tomorrow. I've got to, to the studio. I've got to fix one of the printers over there. I've got another printer coming from China or Germany off eBay. The seller has just received like five negative feedbacks in the last 48 to 72 hours. Uh, They've sent us a tracking number. The tracking number doesn't exist. They said it would be powerful, Parcel Force. It isn't because there's no GB at the end of it or ZF or whatever for Parcel Force. They told me they were going to give it me on Friday. Then they told me they were going to give it on, on Saturday. Then they told me they were going to give it me on Monday. So tomorrow's the last day I can actually open a request to get my money back and then buy it from somebody else because it's just ridiculous. I shouldn't have to wait this long to get a tracking number for something that I paid you know, £200 for basically for this printer. Um, it's cheap for the printer, but it's still quite a lot of money. So that's where we are, that's where we're up to. So do not forget to smash the like button, subscribe if you're not already. Make sure you click notification bell, it does nothing. Make sure you leave us a comment and we will see you tomorrow because we do this every single day.